Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're out at the Chrysler Nationals in Pennsylvania. Come on out at Carlisle Events and you'll have a great time. I saw Dave. Dave, what's your last name? Creeble. And Dave and I have met each other once before. What was it, a 67 Poison Ivy, but what was that car? It was a Super Stock 4 Speed. Super Stock 4 Speed, the last one. Well, how can Dave possibly keep up with that level? Dave, what did you bring today? Today we brought our 70 Hemi Cuda, triple red car, and uh, just have some fun here got a Hemi, it's got to be on the channel. So subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, because if you don't like this car, you're probably on the wrong channel. Let's go to the car. So Dave, this car, come on next to me, this car has been a labor, literally, of love. You shut your business down to restore this car in what year? 2009, after the economic downturn. So 2009, you said, you know what? Time to go back to my car. Well, my wife made me do it, so. That a girl. That's a wife to keep if she makes you do this. Now, that said, um, question for you. What year did you first have this car? I bought the car in 1995. So this car is a member of the family. Yes, it's pretty much, yeah, it's one of the kids. And was it always red on red like this? I bought it, it was a primer, but it was always a red on red car. Okay. Now. So this is a all original, uh, you know, obviously restored, but I mean, this, the correct motor, everything is the same. Yes, yeah, an OE restoration, so that takes a lot of time to restore them to an OE level. And again, just repeat the number of hours because it's insane. It was like 2,500 hours I logged in the shop in six months to get this car ready for Carlisle 2009. 2,500 hours, that's a full year and a quarter. And you did that in six months. Yes. So you did not sleep. You just, I mean, that after a while, you just, like, your wife looked like a Hemi, the, the, the neighbor looked like a Hemi. Everybody, everybody you knew looked like a big elephant motor under the hood. Oh, kind of. She would look out in the shop at 3 a.m. and the lights were still on, so. Yeah. She knew where to find you for six months. Wow. I stopped waiting. <laughs> Cooed up. Let's take a look in the trunk, shall we? Just because this one's so clean. What does it look like when your car in 1970 is brand new? Well, here you go. I mean, when you think muscle car, it's a Hemi Cuda. The original paper sheets for your car. What were some of the more difficult parts for this car? Just about everything, especially when you come to doing a red interior. It's really hard to either dye and match the, the color, or it's really hard to uh, get the trunk to close. Well, that's, and, uh, that's being a 70, that's all that is. Now, the other question, do you, th this car hasn't been videoed, correct? No, it has not been videoed. Yeah, this is the first time anybody's seen this one. Well, I mean, they may have taken pictures of it, but they haven't videoed it like we're doing. May I? Yes. So, it had an original red interior? Yes. Wow. You'll see that when you video the fender tag. That's crazy, right? What a car. What a car. Now, do you drive it or do you just uh, trailer it? We put about a thousand miles on the car since we restored it, so we do drive it. Okay. It's, you actually seen rain too, so. Gotta have fun, gotta use it. Gotta use it, gotta have fun. You gotta clean the rubber off the quarter panels. <laughs> That's awesome. Gotta clean the rubber off the quarter panels. <laughs> That's my kind of guy right there. Uh, Non-stock oil pressure gauge because you got to watch Yeah, you got to watch your oil pressure. You don't want to blow up your engine. Let's take a look under the hood, shall we? How much work did you do on the engine alone? Well, the engine I, I had 
We just, just put the original engine back in the car this spring. And I pretty much do all my own engine work other than machining and balancing. Now, when you bought it in 95, you knew you were buying a Hemi. Well, when I looked at the fender tag, I knew that's the kind of car I would have ordered. Okay. Rubber bumpers and all what, the, what all they, the eye they, candy. Did they call them Enduro or something? Or what do they call Elasto them? Elastomeric. Say it again? Elastomeric Elasto bumpers. Let me just feature those. A big hole in the hood. That's great stuff. Even the right clips. Like, does it become obsessive? Oh, it's, yeah, I think with everybody in a hobby, it gets that way. You know, everybody makes sure every little thing is right, the hose is right, it's the right stamping on the hose. Every minute detail becomes an obsession eventually. Have you had it judged, or do you, could you care less? I could care less. Yeah, I mean, I it just care. on it's yeah. on the fun field. Yeah, I, I, I like it. I, I like when you just have them like this. This is great. Let's fire it, shall we? We'll listen to it idle. We'll have you step on the brakes, and then we'll give it a rev. shaking that hood. <laughs> Step on the brakes for just a moment. Thank you. Cold, you want to keep it going a little bit? We can. Okay. Hey, I've got a little time. Go ahead, fire it up. Let's let's let it drop down the idle. Go ahead. You don't get to see a red Hemi with a red interior every day. That's nice how it shakes, isn't it? Oh yeah. So let me ask you a question. Was the original hood scoop red or was it that argent? It was an early car, so it had a red scoop. Really? So the early yeah. cars had the red light gun? Well, for a, a red car, yes, they had the body color scoop. Red car, body color. When did it turn argent? Oh, probably about mid year. Mid year. Did you ride say around December? Around December. So this is an early one. Yeah. And that's how you can tell the difference. I did not know that. The shaker. All right, let's give it a kick down, see if it'll respond for you. That's a slow with the eye. Yep. I just want to kick down. <laughs> Let me listen to that low. treat good to see you and always a, a great yeah. car thanks so much for being on my car story no problem